Simon Cowell banned his team from sending emails about Britain's Got Talent ratings after he saw a therapist to help him work through his personal demons. The music mogul revealed he had benefited from seeing a therapist for the first time aged 63, which helped him to understand the external value he put on TV ratings. Recalling a conversation with his therapist, he told The Mirror, he asked me do you consider your best work to be the highest rated thing you've ever done? And I said, no. And he said, so why are you judging yourself on that? I sent an email saying, that's it. I don't want to know about ratings anymore. America's Got Talent viewers slam Dangerous Fire Act but Simon Cowell loves it and it's quite incredible because it now doesn't feel like you're chasing something. You're just making something you like in the hope that other people like it as well. If they don't, they don't. Simon's candid conversation came when he spoke to the publication about how the COVID pandemic made him realize he needed to seek help. He agreed to speak to the Daily Mirror for their Men in Mind podcast which, in association with mental health charity Mind, will see some of the country's biggest male stars open up about their mental health. Don't miss! Simon Cowell causes stir with appearance after laughing off facelift claims, video, Simon Cowell lifts lid on biggest regret in rare emotional admission, interview, fame? It's a no from X Factor icon Simon, says Vanessa Feltz, latest, Britain's Got Talent's ratings are usually reported on annually, and during the Covid pandemic Simon was forced to pull the plug on the 2021 series. The series attracted close to 10 million viewers back in 2017 but the figure seems to have dropped since. The first episode of the most recent series drew in an average of 5. 5 million viewers based on figures released following the series debut. While Simon's former reality competition series The X Factor used to compete against hit BBC favourite Strictly Come Dancing, Britain's Got Talent is now one of ITV's main competitors with the popular dance show. Just need some